what's up guys welcome back to the channel and i am so sorry for waiting this long to give you this video but in this episode you don't know what we are gonna put in the door them in our house you see pre but before i get into it first i want to say congratulations to all the graduates congratulations um on the success and all the pep students everybody pick up on yourself yeah key up results coming soon and me so reveal that day so guys like comment share subscribe yeah so as you can see here we have our walls that we did from the previous video if you guys haven't seen part one and part two as yet um i will have the link down in the description so before we begin we're going to go ahead and we are going to have this back in 2d so we're just going to go over here and select top and yeah so now that it is like this we need our openings and we need our doors because we need a way to enter the house and so far these are just pure walls now first thing that i love to do is um just like point out everywhere that you need your opening and everywhere that you need a door so this is the porch so we need this right here to be an opening and this right here to be an opening we need a door to enter the living room and as I told you before, this is an open concept. So we can um, have like a little opening here or a sliding door. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with here as yet. But maybe I put in an opening right there. And then you have the bedroom. We need a sliding door for the closet. Um, we need a normal door for the bathroom. And we need a door for the bedroom to enter the bedroom we need a door at the side right here because this is where you can i will make this a place where you can like exit or you can like enter have side access um to your property and right here as it is the lounge area probably we can use bifold doors or we can use pocket doors all right first we let's do the opening now we are going to go here to doors and we are going to select the drop down now we see doors, we see opening and we see door or window assembly. And we are going to go ahead and select opening. And we are going to select the wall that we want opening to be. So we will have an opening right here. And um, we are going to have an opening right here. So what we are going to do now, we are going to select the opening and we are going to drag it across we're just going to make this entire area open and we're going to drag it to this wall right here and we are going to also do it to this side and drag it to the end of um, this wall right here we can see how that one look all right and we're going to do the same to this one over here all right we can go ahead and generate it in 3d just to see if it looks like um something that we need okay so we have our opening this can um as i said this can be a, a garage porch or just something like that it's just a small house so you know somebody would like to chill out here or would like to park their car out here they have a way to do that all right going back to the top view now let's have our doors so we're going to go to tools and we're going to go to doors and the most common doors used is a single hinge door and it is right here we selected it and so we need one right here to go into the living room we need another one right here to go into the bathroom 
and obviously you know that you can um basically change the length not the length the width of the door how wide the door is um where else do we need this door as i said before i'm going to put an opening at the kitchen i should have put an opening at the kitchen so let me just select opening and put it right here at the kitchen if you are getting confused with the rooms in your house then you can also label it A lot of persons don't like the open concept as i say if you don't like the open, the open concept you can actually have your wall separating your living room and your um dining etc and just put openings or doors there or whatever but i really like the open concept all right so all right now we have the opening we have the door Firstly, what I want you to do, I want you to go over here where there is the door to go inside the house. And as you can see, its properties are over here. And you can basically look at the properties and see um, if you would like to change anything. So far, everything is fine. But I'm going to try and I'm going to put this um, door in the center. But this is a correction afterwards so this is a video that i um, i'm just doing this little piece literally way after i did that original video now in the video i was sent in the doors but i was actually doing it wrong and i don't want to lead you guys astray so i'm going to show you guys how to properly center your doors on a wall now so as you can see i have my door here you're going to select your door after selecting your door at the ribbon tab up here you should see center this little symbol over here and you're going to select that symbol and then it says line works and to select an axis to center on our create to our enter to specify with two points so this is the axis you want it to be on a horizontal axis if you want it if the door was on a vertical wall then you would set the vertical axis so i'm going to set this axis and as it, as it said set the first point along the axis and between this wall and going probably here this is where I want my door to center and as you can see the door does shift and it is correctly in the center so if you see in the video I was centering a door and I did it incorrectly please that was my mistake um, the correct um, way how the center door is here so thank you oh also um, I want to show you guys another beautiful way to do something for your opening right here if you don't want a lousy opening like this I can actually select your opening um just wait hold on why is it not selecting select your opening and what you're going to do is go right here i think um oh yeah right here at shape over where the properties are right here at shape and as you can see it is currently rectangular now you can actually go here the drop down and see how different ways that you can actually have your opening i'm going to select arch and you're going to see how the opening change into an arched style okay yes that was all i was saying and for this door um your bedroom door it's good to let me tell you something about doors um it is good to have your doors um swing towards a wall so for example this bathroom door right here this swings um when you open this bathroom door it basically swings outward so let me put this on the inside by selecting this arrow all right so basically this bathroom door now swing to the wall so it's good to have so when you open a door it basically goes to a wall um as for the room door to enter the room I don't see much of a problem with it but I'm going to basically allow it to look a little bit more seamless so I'm probably going to have this going over here and I don't think I'm going to put this in the center I'm going to I think I'm going to put it a little bit more over here probably give it a little bit more space in the room because if you should enter um, the room from here where the door is at the corner, 
then you would have more space but if it, the door is supposed to be in the center then yeah that's just going to be a little bit too much all right so we need a door for this side right here i'm going to use the same door that i use for the room i'm going to use a single hinge door um so just select right here and also i need this one to be in the center so i'm going to select this and have center and it says select an axis to enter the center just enter and just select the yeah and it's in the center as well as the bathroom door i think the bathroom door is fine so what else do we need we need a sliding door for the closet or a pocket door i really like pocket door because you can just pocket um it into the wall and you have the open space and just um tuck it in back when you're um finish so i'm going to go over here i'm going to have pocket single so we can select that and we can have it right here but if you would like you can use the normal closet door um, i don't remember what it's called but you can go over here and explore um you can go on more door tools to just see uh, more doors um bifold doors are also used for closet but for the laundry right here right here the laundry right here i think i am going to use a let's see a bifold single as i say you can select your doors and explore and then put it in 3d just to see how it looks okay so i'm going to generate this in 3d just to see if it looks presentable mm. Hold on. Okay. We have this one. We have the opening for the kitchen. Um we have the bathroom door. We have the closet and we have this. But for the laundry, let's try a bifold double. Let's just see if the double have a more effect on it. So select bifold double select the wall but honestly for the for the laundry i would also would like to use a pocket door because that would be less disturbing because when you can just pocket the door into the wall and just close it when you finish so i'm going to use a pocket door but as i said you can um explore and see what you prefer yeah so let's go back and generate this in 3d and see if it's okay now yes it's perfectly fine let me fix the pocket door that i have for the closet as um if you would like to change the width of of your door you can go over here to where the properties um are and here you have width and you can change the width of it or you can select the arrow right here and just pull down a little bit yeah yeah just like that so basically that is that um i think we have everything most people like they will they really like access point from the outside of their house to the to their bedroom but um in, in this case we're not going to do that so yeah let's generate this again in 3d and see if we have everything we desire okay let me zoom in so we have the living room along with the dining um along with little hallway here and our kitchen the kitchen um has an opening um let me twirl this a little bit yeah it looks fine to me 
Hold on. All right. So I think this is it for our stuff. I think this is it. This is the door and this is the opening. Next, I will be doing the windows. After the windows, I will be doing the furniture. Literally the best part. And then we can move on to foundations and all those good stuff. Before we go guys, I'm going to put this in conceptual, so I'm going to go up here to views and put this in conceptual so you guys can see it better, um, all the doors and all the openings. I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to pivot it so you guys can basically see it properly, have a better view. Yeah, this is our little beauty yes guys so as i said you know come back soon and when you have the rest of the episode then please guys like comment share and subscribe again stay best give less you know, don't know what my love you know.